Hi, I'm Brian Henderson, and today I'm taking you on a guided tour of the brand new Wash Dry Fold POS, the point of sale system for laundromats. In this video, we're going to be going over the basic process of creating an order, printing off receipts, printing labels for finished bags of laundry, weighing laundry, and then also tracking laundry orders throughout the production process, including notifying a customer by text message when their laundry is ready. Let's take a look. The first part of the process is weighing the customer's clothes on the integrated weight scale. Now, most laundromats leave a basket or tub sitting on top of their scale at all times so that customers can more easily dump their laundry into the weight scale. And many laundromats will even line that tub or basket with a plastic bag or trash can liner so that they can tie off the bundle of laundry without ever having to touch the dirty laundry with their bare hands. To begin a transaction, a laundry attendant is going to put in their four to six digit PIN, their personal identification number. So I'll begin by entering mine. And this brings us to the main register screen. I'm going to click new sale and I can search for a customer by their phone number, their last name or the company name. We'll select this customer and we'll now move on to selecting our items. This is the main sales screen. These different department buttons will show us the items within those departments. In this case, since this, this is a load of towels, I'll press Wash Dry Fold Basic. And I can type in the number of pounds if I'm not using an integrated weight scale, or I can press the scale button to simply read from the scale itself. I can even add notes for this load, say dry everything on low. I could even use shortcut notes. If I didn't want to actually type that by hand, I could go to this modifiers department and say dry temperature on low, and that would add that note. As I press next, the system has identified automatically that this order does not meet our minimum order at this laundromat. The minimum order in this store is $15, and our transaction was only $10.33. So if I press minimum order, that will round the order total up to the minimum order amount. We now move on to the due date screen, where we choose the day and time that this laundry should be ready. By default, you can see that it shows today, tomorrow, and day after tomorrow, as well as the number of orders that are due within that period of time. I can click on a day, let's choose tomorrow, and then I can choose an hour, let's say 3 p.m. And then I'll click save due date to confirm that. This now brings us to the payment screen, where we can enter cash or credit card or check amounts. If they had store credit, we could apply it to the transaction. If it was a commercial account, we could charge it to on account for monthly invoicing. Or if they're going to pay at pickup, we can simply press pay at pickup. I'm going to do that in this example. On the print screen, we confirm if we want to print a receipt, yes or no. And we can also confirm how many copies of that re receipt we want to print right away. Right now, we can see that by default, it wants to print off two copies. I'll go ahead and do that. Now, the software has printed off two copies of the receipt. And if you take a look here at the top for pay at pickup orders, it actually shows in large text that this order needs to be paid at pickup. It also shows the customer's name, the due date at the bottom of the receipt, and as well as those orders. And we can also see how it's rounded this transaction up to the minimum order amount. Okay, so. We now have a copy that goes to the customer, and we have a copy that stays with the laundry order. What do we do about labeling bags of laundry, and what do we do about tracking the order as it's being washed, dried, and folded? And then how do we notify the customer when the laundry's ready? Let's take another look. I'm now going to go to the orders screen. And this will show us the list of orders that are waiting to be done and exactly what stage they're in. We can see this order number 491 for George Washington, and we can drag it over to the sort column to begin work on it. If there are any notes on this customer's order, we can see right here, the little person and the little uh, notes card here, that there are some notes to take a look at. And so if I tap on that, that will bring up the order details screen. And sure enough, we can see that this customer has notes saying to use unscented soap and softener, and also that he wanted us to dry this load on low. As I drag this order over to the wash column, I'm now going to be prompted to choose which washer I'm putting this order into. And so I can simply select a washer. Let's say we'll put it into washer 12, and I'll say start washer. 
The software keeps track of exactly when the order ended the, entered the washing stage, which machines were used, who started the machine, and exactly at what time. As we move the order along, say to dry, I can mark that washer off and then start a dryer. Let's say dryer 2A. And then later, as I move the order into folding, I simply just drag it along to the fold column. When we mark the order as done, you'll be prompted to send them a text message. It will give you a preview of the message that it wants to send. And you have to manually click send text message so that no one accidentally gets messaged if you didn't mean to. And now I'm going to print off labels for the finished order. By default, your store can contain have up to four different default container types, such as bags and hanging items, hampers or crates, things like that. But you can also customize this per order. So let's say we had two bags and one hanging, and then maybe they also left a uh, bottle of detergent. Press print label, and the labels will come out of your label printer. If you take a look at these labels, you can see that it shows that this is a pay at pickup order. We can also see the number of items that are in this order and uh, also the invoice number and the customer's contact phone number. When a customer comes to pick up the laundry, we simply go back to the order screen. We'll press the pick up button. We'll find the order or scan the barcode on the bag of laundry. In fact, there is a barcode scanner right here on the side of the monitor of our new computers. And so if I hold the uh, receipt with the barcode or one of the bag labels with the barcode on it, I can actually scan it right away and recall the order just like that. If the order is pay at pickup, when I confirm that this order is being picked up, it'll take us immediately to a payment screen where we can now collect payment for this order. The sends our guided tour of the new Wash Dry Fold POS software of how to create an order and take it all the way through the production status to the very end of notifying a customer that the laundry is ready, as well as marking the orders picked up when they come to get it. There's much more to learn about Wash Dry Fold POS, and we hope to hear from you soon so we can show you how this can really help you manage the operations of your laundromat in a much more modern way and simplify your attendance lives and make your customers happier.